While fire crews remained on scene at Eaton Street, another fire was breaking out across the city. This fire damaged two triple-deckers and displaced over two dozen people. Several firefighters were also hurt fighting the flames. Iowa News News reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us now live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with more. Well, just within the last couple of minutes, Mike and Shannon, as crews were starting to board up these homes, they discovered a fire started to spark back up on the uh, third floor of that building right there. So investigators right now, they're still trying to figure out whether or not this fire is suspicious. We do know everyone did make it out safely. Around 4.30 Thursday afternoon, smoke and flames poured out of this Laurel Hill Avenue home in Providence. I crossed the street to the other side to knock the door to let the people know there was a fire coming out. The guy came out with uh, the baby in his arms. Fearing the gusting winds would blow the smoke and fire toward his house, Jose Noriega called 911 and ran back home. Big fire, and I was scared, so I have to come inside because I have my kids and uh, tell my wife to prepare the kids in case we have to run over. Fire crews from Providence and surrounding cities and towns rushed in to douse the flames that were tearing through two homes, three cars, and a boat. A little bit of chaotic scene, a lot of wind, wet fires. Battalion Chief William Kenyon says the wind fueled the flames, making it not only challenging to fight, but also for investigators to determine how or where the fire started. Between the, the, the two dwellings is, is, is heavily burned and charred, and, uh, and when we arrived, there was a, a lot of visible fire there, so... Um, you know, that, that could lead investigators to a, a point of origin for sure. Between the two buildings, about 30 people are now without a home. That's where the Red Cross and neighbor Jessica Barrera are stepping in. I lost my home too with my baby and I had no help. Nobody helped me. So I want to help who I can help. And it's unclear if these buildings are a total loss, but as you can see, there is extensive damage from the fires. The Red Cross tells us it's assisting five families this evening. Reporting live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.